There's an easy editing trick that you can use to enhance the light in your landscape to make them look amazing in as little as two clicks in Photoshop. In this video, I'll show you exactly what this game-changing technique is, and the types of images that it works on, so you can give your photos a stunning look and feel in seconds. So let's take a look at what this light enhancing technique is and the simple steps you can follow to use it. It works on just about any kind of landscape photo to inject a beautiful hazy light, whether it's a colorful sunrise or sunset, or a clear blue sky or anything in between. A great example of its power can be found in this image that I took in New Zealand a few years ago. Now the hike towards Mount Cook was absolutely beautiful and we did it in the late afternoon hoping to catch a stunning sunset when we got to the lake at the bottom. But as beautiful as it was, I just couldn't help feeling disappointed the whole way because of the clear sky, which really doesn't make for a great sunset. I took a bunch of photos anyway because I'd be stupid not to, and I never really did much with this batch at the time. But years later, I discovered this super simple Photoshop technique. And when I tried it on this image, it was like a cheat code to enhance the quality of the light while at the same time injecting even more depth and separation between the foreground and the background. To use this yourself, you just need to follow these very simple steps in Photoshop. First, add a new empty layer to your image and then select the brush tool with 0% hardness and set the brush opacity to 30%. And then holding Alt on PC or Option on the Mac, notice how the mouse cursor changes to the eyedropper icon. And this means that the color sampler tool is now active. So with Alt or Option held in on the keyboard, click to sample a light color from close to the brightest part of the sky. Next, resize the brush. And you can use the left and right square bracket keys on the keyboard to shortcut that and do it quickly. And with that color now sampled and selected as your brush color, the next step is so simple you won't believe it. Just literally click once on your image where you want the light to appear. Now it doesn't work just painting this light in any old where, it still has to make sense if you want it to look natural. So if the sun is out of the frame, then paint the light in on the sun that the side is, or if the sun is in shot, just center the light on the sun itself. And then if the effect is a little too strong first time, you can adjust the layer opacity to blend it in a little bit more subtly. Now, as awesome as this technique is, as I've shown it so far, with one tiny change, you can take it to the next level. Here's all you need to do. So after adding your new empty layer to paint onto, change its blend mode to overlay. And now if you paint with a large brush like this, you'll see it changes the effect from painting that color in in a hazy light kind of way to brightening the image while also adding a hint of the color at the same time. If you make it small, you can dodge elements in your photo while infusing them with the natural color of the light that would be brightening them in the same way as you would with the regular dodge tool normally, but just with that extra color added. And then to burn with color, just sample a darker color from near the area you want to affect and do the same thing. But a word of warning, You'll want to be as accurate as possible when dodging and burning with this method because painting the wrong color into the wrong places will make your image look weird and unnatural. So the best way to make sure you're dodging and burning with color only in the right places is to brush through a luminosity selection that restricts the brush to either the highlights or the shadows. And that way you can paint just the warm light colors into the highlights and the cool dark colors into the shadows. Now, don't worry if that sounds complicated right now because here's how you can easily do it in a couple of clicks using my free luminosity masking plugin, which you can download from the link in the description or pinned comment below. Now, the way it works, if you wanna dodge a light warm color into just the lighter parts of your image, then click on one of the highlights buttons on the plugin to load that selection. Think of it like a stencil to paint through just into the right areas. And then you can hide the marching ants with Control or Command H on the keyboard if they're getting in the way. And from there, simply brush into the area that you want to highlight, safe in the knowledge that your highlight stencil is preventing your brush from going into the shadows. And likewise, for painting into the shadows, do the same thing, except load a shadow selection first. And then sample your dark color from near where you'll be burning and brush through that shadow selection into your overlay layer knowing that it's gonna be restricted from those lighter areas. Now using luminosity selections like this is great at preventing painting over the edges, but that's just one mistake that would be guaranteed to make your edits look amateurish. So watch this next video to learn seven more of the biggest editing mistakes and how to avoid them in your photography.